Hi there. This is going to be a quick screencast on how to make a QR code using Kiowa and print it for use in a speech and language session or save it for use in a speech and language session. So I'm first going to Google Kiowa QR, which brings me to the QR code generator. And as I showed in the screenshot, the uh, types of QR codes you generally make would be based on a URL or web address or some text that you enter. So I'm actually going to make one with a web address. Let's say you wanted kids to scan the QR code and it would go to this site on ancient Mesopotamia where they could do some research or learn more about that. You need to highlight the um, web address. Notice I have two tabs open here. That's always helpful to be able to do. Every browser lets you open tabs. Um, the way you open a tab is file, new tab in general, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which on a Mac is Command T, but you can always get it from the file menu. That's important because you notice I have the QR code generator and my other website open at once. So I'm just going to click on the web address, which highlights it, or you can always just click and drag and highlight it. Um, and copy the web address, which you get under the edit menu, edit copy, or you can just use your keyboard shortcut, which is command C on a Mac, control C on a PC. I'm going to go back to the Kiowa tab, okay, and I'm going to paste it into this field. But what's important to notice here is I copied this entire web address, which has an HTTP colon slash slash at the beginning of it. And Kiowa already puts that at the beginning, but if you paste, it'll have it there twice. You're not going to want that. Just be aware of that because it won't be a valid web address, okay, if you have that there twice. I always do it as large, and then you can just click Generate. So I'm going to generate a QR code of this URL, and that's what it looks like, okay? In order to use this QR code, I'm going to want to click on it which shows what's called its permalink. This is always going to be there in um, Kiowa as a link to this image. Okay, there's two things you can do here. You could um, control click or right click if you're using a PC and get this little drop down menu. You'll be able to save the QR code if you'd like um, and print it later. You can also copy the QR code image. If you wanted to say put it into a PowerPoint and have the child scan your screen because you can scan it from the screen or you can scan it from a printed piece of paper. Okay, so if you wanted to print this out for use, you would just go file, print from within your browser because I'm using Safari here. If you're using another browser, it works the same way. This gives me a print preview, let, letting me know what the page is going to look like, and I can just print to whatever printer is around. Now, Kiowa also lets you make a QR code from text, meaning if you wanted to enter in here a vocabulary word, a strategy you want the students to use, an uh, articulation target, or a word with an articulation target, um, you could do that. You will not want this to be a very long block of text um, because the QR code will then get giant and sometimes they don't scan well if they're really large. So I'm just going to do this. That's an example of like a strategy that a student might use during a social skills session. Remember to listen with your eyes, um, which means make eye contact with others while listening. I'm just going to go generate. And so that made this QR code, which I can click on save, copy, or print, whichever you'd like to do. And if you ever print them out, it might be a good idea to write on the back of them what it actually is, because um, you can save these QR codes for use over time, um, or reuse. They can always be reused. So that's how to use Kiowa to um, create a QR code. Hope that was helpful for you.